Okay, I'm going to be talking about chair cyclohexane and drawing different conformations of it in order to get the most stable. So we're going to look at this compound here and it's 1, 2, 3 trimethyl cyclohexane. And I want to know what the most stable chair conformation looks like. So this is how I do it. I draw a chair and I'm just most comfortable drawing this particular chair conformation. And then I put the substituents on it and see if it's the most stable. So here's carbon number one, two, three, and then that corresponds to over here, carbon number one, two, and three. The most important thing about chair cyclohexane is understanding what's up and what's down. So here's a chair, and if we look at these particular carbon atoms, I'm going to call these sort of the top of the plane. And whenever you have a top of the plane carbon atom, they're kind of above if you would cut this uh, cyclohexane ring in half. Those particular carbon atoms, the axial substituents are straight up. The equatorial positions are down. The other three carbon atoms, kind of the lower part below the plane, have axial positions that are straight down, and the equatorial positions are up. So, and my carbon number one here, this particular group, carbon number one, it's up in the planar, in the page drawing, and so that corresponds to an axial position on our ring. So that methyl group is straight up. And carbon number two, right here now, the axial position is straight down, and in our planar drawing of it, it is also straight down. So right now, carbon, uh, the methyl group at carbon number one is axial. The methyl group at carbon number two is also axial. At carbon number three, the up group is also axial. So that's what our, at, our chair conformation looks like. The problem is this is not the most stable. We have three axial substituents. Axial groups are unstable because of the 1, 3 and 1, 5 diaxial interaction. The hydrogens on these methyl groups are very, very close together. that causes strain in the molecule. That strain is, is just not good. And so we can't have those groups being axial. So it is not the most stable conformation to have them all in the axial positions. So it undergoes a ring flip to the other chair conformation. In a ring flip, what was axial becomes equatorial. This carbon number one is now here. It went from being above the plane to being below the plane. So equatorial is up. And I'll draw in this hydrogen so you can see that the equatorial is up, the hydrogen is down. Carbon number two, the hydrogen is up, putting the methyl group in the equatorial position, that's down. And then carbon number three, Sorry about this. The hydrogen is down, the methyl group is up. So this is the most stable chair conformation. It is tri-equatorial. It's got all three groups in the equatorial position, equatorial positions, giving it the most stability.